hallelujah glory to god for truly this is the day the lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it i want to thank god for you tuning in to the hewitt channel my name is evangelist anita hewitt hallelujah and it's truly a glorious day on this wonderful tuesday at 11 o'clock pacific standard time it's 11 o'clock a.m and we just love the lord Hallelujah. Our ministry is MCN Ministry, Bible Way, LA. We're located in Los Angeles, California. And if you want to seed into our ministry, please click on the donation button. Or if you want to write a check, please make it payable to MCN Ministry. Please visit our website at www.brianhewitt.com. We have wonderful good things that are in store for us today. And it's truly been a blessing. So we give God the praise and glory for everything that God has done in our lives. Hallelujah. And we're going to go before the Lord. Let's pray. Most gracious Father, we thank you and praise you, Lord Jesus, for a glorious day. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for you keeping us, Father God, to your glory, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we just love you and we praise you. We glorify you. We magnify you, Father God, for truly we love you. Hallelujah, for truly that there is none like you in the matchless name of Jesus. And God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word. We thank you that the word should go forth in power. Father God, it shall accomplish that it was sent to do. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything you're doing in our lives. Father God, let a need a decrease and let you increase in us mightily, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for souls to be one this day, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for deliverance taking place. We thank God, Lord Jesus, for our faith rising, Lord Jesus, to the next level, Lord for truly you said higher heights and deeper depths that we shall go and lord jesus we thank you and praise you lord jesus for being jehovah jireh you're the god that provides father god and for that we say thank you lord and lord we be careful to give you all the praise all the glory for there's none like you in the matchless name of jesus amen and amen once again god bless you saints of the most high god get ready to be blessed in the word of god please get your bible we're going to do some reading. Hallelujah. We're going to start off in Luke 12, verse 13 through 21. Luke 12, 13 through 21. Hallelujah. The word of God reads, and one of the companies said unto him, Master, speak to my brother, that he divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me judge and divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life considereth not in the abundance of the things which he possess. And he said, and he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain man brought forth plentiful. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do because I have no room where to bestow my fruit? And he said, This what I'll do. I'll pull down my barn and build a greater, and there will I bestow all my fruit and my goods and I will say to my soul so thou hast much goods laid up for many years take thine ease eat drink and be merry but God said unto them excuse me God said unto him thou fool this night thy soul shall be required of thee then these shall though then what shall those things be which has provided so is he that layeth up treasures for himself it is not rich toward god May, ooh, turn with me real quickly to matthew 6 we're going to read verse 19 through 21 lay up not lay up thyself treasures upon earth lay not up treasures upon the earth where moth 
rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through and steal. For where your treasures is, there will your heart be also. My God, may the Lord have a blessing to the reading and to the hearing of God's holy word. My God, what's in your heart today? What is in your treasures today? That's my question. What is in your treasures today? My God. Now, I want you to understand. I'm going to break down this parable because it was really, as I was studying this today, I was like, Lord, I thank you, Lord. Because we need to know that we cannot get caught up with the things of the world when God starts blessing us because God wants us to have the abundance. God wants us to be, hallelujah, the head and not the tail, but he does not want us to be sidetracked and forget God. And what had happened in uh, the Bible days, it wasn't unusual for a person to ask a, to ask a rabbi or a teacher to, uh, to uh, deal with the inheritance issue. So, and normally back in the Bible days where that the oldest would get double and then what was left would be divided among the children. But see, this man's request when he went to Jesus, it was of a selfish and materialistic manner. He had no indication that he had listened seriously to Jesus' teaching at all. So Jesus gave him a parable, gave him a a parable is an illustration that was used either either for a moral or a spiritual lesson. So Jesus gave him this parable. It said there was this man. He had he had a wonderful ground. His ground had produced great fruit and his barn was busting over. Then he said, "What am I going to do? I have no room for all of my fruit and my goods. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull down the old barn and build a greater one and I could bestow all of my goods and I could sit back at ease and say, huh, I could eat, drink, and be merry and I'm set for years. So he thought. But as we read, it says, thy fool, thy soul is required of thee. So who is going to take care of all of the goods now? So we cannot put our our treasures in the things that we possess. Lay not up for the things that we have on this earth, but we lay up on things that are in heaven. So therefore, this man, he thought he had it going on. He he was really greedy. He showed that what happened of uh, it was it was what you call covetousness. It was all mine. It wasn't about sharing. So what's in your heart today? The Bible says, out of a good man's heart, good things come out. And out of an evil man's heart, evil things come out. So again, what is in your treasures today? My God. So I want you to understand that as we search our heart today, ask God, say, God, Pull the reins of my heart. Lord, see, God doesn't listen to the words we say. God looks at our heart. He looks at the motives and the intent of a man's heart. So what comes out of our heart, what's in our heart is going to come up and out. Because out of the mouth, out of, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. So because of that, hallelujah, what's in your heart today? Am I holding things more valuable than God? Am I holding my family? Am I holding my kids, my life, my job, my house, my account? What am I holding that's more valuable in my heart than God? My God. See, the world, if we hold our things, if we have our hope in people, places, and things, God could turn it upside down in a second. If we hold our house more valuable, a good shake will bring down your house. And then what do you have? 
Our lives can be turned upside down in a matter of seconds. This rich man thought he had it going on. He thought he had it all in a bag of chips. I got it made and everything else. But without God, you have nothing, saints of the Most High God. Hallelujah. No matter how high God takes you, no matter what position you hold on your job, always stay humble and always seek the Lord. Always thank the Lord for every blessing that you have because it's nothing but of God's grace and his mercy that God had opened up the door for you to have what we have. So this man had thought he had it all going on, but again, we have nothing without God. So there is nothing wrong with money. It's nothing wrong. See, the day where, see where we fall in danger is that we start loving the money more than the creator. See, money is not the root of all evil. The word of God says the love of money is the root of all evil. The love. I start loving the things more than I love the creator. And we must be careful because God wants us to have the abundance. God wants us to be without lack. But God knows how to bless his children. Because sometimes if we have everything we've been asking God for, we'll start thinking that it's us. We start glorifying ourselves besides of glorifying the Father. And we must be careful. Saints of the Most High God, so what's in your treasures today? My God, what is in your treasures? What is what are you holding? What are you holding more than God? Hallelujah. Is it God and God alone? Or is it everything else? Hallelujah. And then God comes second or third. Hallelujah. Is God a B plan or is he the A plan? Is he the only plan in your life today? Hallelujah. Because this man, this rich man thought he had it. He thought he said, well, I'm going to build up my house. And I have so much food. But see, you got to understand when God starts blessing. Hallelujah. God blesses you so you can bless others. And what this rich man did not know. Hallelujah. He was covetous. It was mine and all mine. I wasn't thinking about trying to help the community of where he is. Hallelujah. He was saying, I'm going to hold this and I'm set for life. I'm set for years. Hallelujah. So do you have that? Do you think that you have it so going on that God is not in the equation? Saints of the most high God, what is in your heart today? Hallelujah. What is in your heart? But God said, thy fool, thy soul is required today. So hallelujah. If God cracks the clouds today, can you honestly say that Jesus is Lord? Can you honestly say that heaven is my home? Can you honestly say hallelujah that I love the Lord and God and I'm going to heaven with you, Lord? Can you honestly say that? My God. So this man had thought he had it going on. So he thought he had it going on, saints. And without God, we have nothing. Without God, we could do nothing. And because of that, hallelujah, we must make, it, make sure that our election is sure. We must make sure that I'm not caught up in the things besides of the Creator. I'm not caught up in the blessings of the Lord. And then I start saying, okay, it's all about Anita. It's all about me. I got it going on. You got to understand without God, we could do nothing. And if we have got into that materialistic rim and we've been forgetting to give God the praise, now is the acceptable time for us to repent because God says, confess your sins. Hallelujah. And he is faithful and just to forgive and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, saints of the most high God. So we must come clean with God. And God, Lord Jesus, I got caught up in my things. I got caught up in the in the bling bling and and, and you know, the accolades and, and, and everything that I had because of the money. Hallelujah. God wants us again. 
God doesn't want us to live paycheck to paycheck. God does want us to have the abundant life. He wants us to live in abundance. But we cannot get sidetracked and start thinking that I got the money and I start forgetting God. Hallelujah. Because we're going to bless the Lord at all times. For his praises shall continually be in our mouth. Hallelujah. So we will bless the Lord when we have money. And we will bless the Lord when we don't. Because we know that God said every need is met in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We know that God is Jehovah Jireh. He's a God that provides. He's already stepped into our future. Already made it. Already made a way for the saints for us to walk. We just have to walk it out by faith. Saints of the Most High God. But if we fell short, hallelujah, now is the time to get it right. Hallelujah. And if you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, now is the acceptable time for us to get it right. Turn with me to Romans 10, 9 through 13. For if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord is over all rich upon all that call upon his name. Hallelujah. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever, aren't you glad you're part of the Whosoever Club? Please repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, I admit I'm a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I'm willing right now to turn my sins and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life. Fill me and take full control. Help me to become the person you birthed me to become. Thank you, Father, for loving me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. I'm praising God. Pastor Brian is praising the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Once again, welcome to the body of Christ. You've taken the most important step. Now the second step is to ask God to lead and guide you to a church where he wants you to attend, where you can grow and get strengthened in the word of God because the word of God is the only thing that's going to keep you. And also get active in the midweek Bible study as well as as well as the fellowship because where there's unity there is truly strength and that's where we could get familiar with the bible start memorizing the word of god and you start quoting it and then you start quoting it you can see it and when you can see it you can live it and when you can live it you can teach it when you can teach it you can preach it hallelujah glory to god so once again welcome to the body of christ and if you gave your life to the lord please visit our webpage at www.brianhewitt.com and let us know that you gave your your life to the Lord and if you need a Bible please also let us know that too if you want to seed into the ministry please visit our webpage and click on the donation button and if you want to write a check please make it payable to MCN ministry once again welcome to the body of Christ hallelujah so we're talking about what's in your treasure today is so is it all about me is it all about my four and no more? Or is it about, God, I'm so grateful. God, I want to help the community. I want to bless because, Lord, you blessed me. So I want to bless you. But see that this rich man did not have that mentality. That rich man said, hallelujah, it's mine and it's all mine. And since I don't have any room, I'm going to tear down my barn and build up a larger one. But God said, thy fool, thy soul is required today. Hallelujah. So during the time. Time. During the Bible times, he, the word fool has many meanings. It means who lacks brains. In the Bible times, it was the worst insult that you could call a person because a fool by, by ignoring wisdom of God's efforts. And then it also refers to a follower, a follower of the crowd of his own, con of his own concept, conceit, or also his own opinion. So therefore, and also a fool says that there's no God in his heart. My God, turn with me to Psalms 14 and 1. A fool says in his heart, there is no God. There, is, there are corrupt 
they are corrupt. They have done an abominable work, and there is none that doeth good. My God, that's the definition of the fool. Hallelujah is in Psalms 14 and 1. A fool says in his heart that there is no God. That's the definition. My God, turn with me to Romans 1 and 21. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither they were thankful. But because of vain in their imaginations, their foolish heart was darkened. My God, let that not be named among the saints of the Most High God. We as children of the Most High God should desire heavenly blessings and treasures that God has for us. Hallelujah. Don't you want to be blessed? Don't you want, hallelujah, the blessings of the Lord? Hallelujah. Because the Bible says the blessings of the Lord make it rich and add no sorrow with it at all. My God, don't you want, hallelujah, the, the good things of God. Hallelujah. But God wants us to walk uprightly before him. God wants us to line our lives up to the word of God. God wants us to magnify him and give him the praise and glory. Hallelujah. We just can't ask God to bless me with all the heavenly blessings and then I'm not doing nothing for God. I can't ask God to continue on blessing me and I'm not doing the things that God has called me to do. Hallelujah. God has required you to do some things too hallelujah glory to God turn with me to Deuteronomy 28 and 12 the Lord shall open thee hallelujah his good treasures the heaven to give rain upon the land in his season hallelujah and to bless all the works of thine hand and thou shall lend Hallelujah unto many nations and thou shalt not borrow. Hallelujah. God wants us to walk in those type of blessings. Hallelujah. The rain. Hallelujah. In your land. Hallelujah. When it talks about rain in this time, it talks about blessings. Hallelujah. In his season. Hallelujah. And he will bless the work of your hands. Hallelujah. And you shall lend to many nations. Hallelujah. You will have enough to bless and seed into other ministries hallelujah and you will not borrow hallelujah don't you want the blessings of the lord hallelujah glory to god turn with me to psalm 68 and 19 hallelujah blessed be the lord hallelujah who daily loads us with benefits even god hallelujah of our salvation Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord will bless you. Hallelujah. He blesses us with what? Daily blessings. Hallelujah. Benefits. Hallelujah. Benefits is our health. Benefits is our life. Benefits of activities of our limbs. Benefits of us to see and hear and smell and talk. Hallelujah. Somebody went to sleep that did not wake up. Hallelujah. Somebody went to sleep with the right mind and woke up and lost their mind today glory to God so but God blesses us he loads us with daily benefits glory to God because he's the God of our salvation glory to God hallelujah don't you want those type of blessings hallelujah it is better to trust in the Lord than put your confidence in man it is better to put your trust in the Lord hallelujah than put your confidence in Prince that is Psalms 118 verses 8 and 9 Glory to God. Hallelujah. My trust is in the Lord. Hallelujah. So what is in your treasure today? Hallelujah. Is in your treasure. Hallelujah. The good things of God. Hallelujah. Or what's in your treasure or the things me, mine and mine. Hallelujah. I'm not giving it up. Hallelujah. I'm holding fast to everything that I got. Hallelujah. God does not want us to be covetous. Covetous is that I want this and I got this and I don't even 
and I'm not rejoicing when my brother and sister get blessed because I want what they got. Hallelujah. I don't want what God to give me. I want what my brother Pepper has and what Sister Sugar has. I want to have that mind. It's all mine. Don't be covetous. Hallelujah. But we're going to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Because he loads us up with daily benefits. Glory to God. Turn with me to Proverbs 20 and 21. Hallelujah. An inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning, but at the end thereof. Hallelujah. It shall not be blessed. Hallelujah. Don't try to get things very, very fast. Don't try to get it un. Don't try to get money. Hallelujah. Um, don't, don't, don't try to get it deceitfully. That's the word I'm trying to say. Because my God, because when you try to get it through trickery, do I try to try to get it? Because well then if, well, if I say that I'm someone else and I could get their inheritance, hallelujah. You may get some money in the beginning, but it is not a blessing at the end. Hallelujah. And we want God's blessings always. So we cannot try to get inheritance by trickery. We cannot get it deceitfully. That's the word I'm looking for. God doesn't want us to get money deceitfully because even though you will get it, but it will not be a blessing at the end. And we want God to bless us from beginning to end. Glory to God. God wants us to have the abundance. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Turn with me to Psalms. Excuse me. Turn with me to Matthew 12. Hallelujah. Matthew 12 and 35. A good man out of a good treasure of his heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of an evil treasure bring forth evil things. Again, what's in your treasure today? What's in your treasure? My God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because hallelujah. God blesses his children. If God takes care of the sparrows, hallelujah, and they don't have to want for nothing, how much more will God take care of his children? Glory to God. Turn with me to Luke 12 and 24. Consider the raven, for they neither soar nor they neither sow nor reap. They neither have storehouses or barns, and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? My God, hallelujah. If God takes care of the birds, you know he's going to take care of you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad that God loves you today? Aren't you glad, hallelujah, that, hallelujah, I heard this word today, what is in my treasure? What's in my treasure are good things. Hallelujah. For wherever your treasures are, that's where your heart is. So if my heart is toward God, that's where my treasures are. If my heart is for the things of the world, that's where my heart is. But today, thank God, it might have been on the materialistic things. I might have got caught up in the things that I have, that I possess. Hallelujah. But today, hallelujah, I got it right today. I thank God for the word. I thank God for tuning in to the Hewitt channel today to hear what's in my heart today, what's in my treasures. Hallelujah. For wherever your treasures are, that's where your heart is. So we must make sure that our heart is toward you, God. Hallelujah. Let's pray out. Most gracious Father, we thank you and praise you for this word. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for truly, hallelujah, I'm not materialistic. I might have been, Father God, before I heard the word, but now, Father God, I'm humbly. Father God, I know what's in my heart, what's in my treasure is you. Father God, and you, and you alone, and you more of. Father God, and Lord Jesus, we just thank you and praise you for every blessing that you have for us this day. And Lord, we glorify you and we magnify you. And Lord, we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name name. Hallelujah. Once again, thank you for tuning in to the Hewitt channel. We bless God for souls that gave their lives to the Lord, that rededicated. We thank God, Lord Jesus, for our faith has risen just a little bit higher. Tune back in at 3 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 
where the Lord has led me to teach a series of Taming the Tongue. Please come back and also come back at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Get ready for my husband, Pastor Bryant. Hallelujah. He's teaching out of the book of Revelations. So get ready and get blessed. So until we meet again, may God bless you and keep you. Amen.